Okay, thank you for engaging in the last strand and looking at those research standards. Um, hopefully you had some takeaways. Uh, I really enjoy this. Uh, it's something that I'm kind of excited about. One of my favorite books, going back to the dead horse, the mentors that I beat everybody with is Riding with Mentors. And I think that just showed up backwards because of the camera. But um, they've spoken at NCTE con uh, conferences. And one of my favorite bits in there is like one of their warm ups is they give the kids just a bunch of random raw data information on the screen and then they have them respond to it. And one of their responses is you have five to 10 minutes to take out your phone and Google any one of these facts and find out more about it. Um, but Jennifer, I know you get excited about the recursive uh, and the ongoing research. How do you see this playing out in the classroom? And what are some things that you think are key takeaways from this? Well, just like the big takeaway on this screen says, this is not saved for one unit, which I know many of us have have followed our curriculum documents when it has a research unit like that, but their research should be throughout the year. They are researching every day, whether they realize it or not. And so if we can really incorporate the skills they need to master research, um, I think we're gonna really help push some of our students without them knowing that they're really learning, so. I think that's really powerful and pushing them back. Like one of the things I love in this is that it has you look at the validity of the of the resource you're you're re using for research. Mm -hmm. um, look at any fallibility in it, and I think in today's world of fake news and all the things we're putting out there and all the things the kids see on social media, the critical thinking way back at the introduction again comes up again. How where am I getting my information and how is it shaping my view, and how do I really need to filter it and how do I go broaden that view? So I think all of those things. Are things to consider as you design daily. I mean, I don't think we need to be worrying about getting the uh, MLA style or the APA style or whatever style book you need to get out every day. But I mean, you certainly could embed, embed that in throughout. And I will say this too, in our TRS documents, uh, I think in the first six weeks, there's already a research piece built in mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times. So be thinking about that.